Hi students, welcome back. In the previous class, we learned about handiwork and handicraft and trade and commerce. Today, we will learn about major trade groups and the cities in medieval India. First, major trade groups. The trade groups of medieval period are of two types. They are first one Marwadis and Gujaratis, second one Multans and Khurasanis. Here, Marwadis and Gujaratis were done the coastline trade, and Multans and Khurasanis were done the inland trade. Okay, next, let's study about the Arab influence in the trade. The major export items were cotton fabrics, indigo, salt and sugar. The metals, leathers, velvet, dry fruits and horses were imported. In South India, the horse traders were known as Kudrachetis. Earlier, the Arabs had upper hand in these trades. With the arrival of the Portuguese, the Arabs lost their influence over this trade. After that, the Portuguese gained the upper hand. Next, Europe influence in the trade. The direct trade between India and Europe began with the arrival of Vasco da Gama at Calicut in 1498. With the arrival of Portuguese, the Dutch, English and the French landed in India for trade. The chief items they collected from India were spices, fabrics, indigo, sugar and salt. There was a major shift in trade relations. In between Europeans, the mutual rivalry formed because the Europeans want to establish a monopoly trade in India. Therefore, the imperialist wars between Europeans held in India. At last, English emerged as the winners in the competition and gained the power of the trade. Okay, students, let's study about measures taken by English for the progress of trade. First point, they constructed roads connecting major cities. They granted loans to traders. They constructed sarais, means rust houses, implemented uniform taxation, developed postal facilities, and they implemented efficient coinage system. Next, growth of Indian medieval cities and population. Here, we will discuss about how the medieval cities were developed. Agriculture and trade progress accelerated the growth of the cities. The urban population rapidly increased during medieval period. In the earlier period, majority of the cities were inhabited by kings, brahmins and soldiers. During the Sultanate period, different sections of people, including cooks, weavers and leather craftsmen, migrated to the cities. The major cities were Agra, Lahore, Delhi, Khandesh, Ahmedabad, Dhaka, Dauladabad and Benares. The rulers brought a large number of slaves captured from battles to cities. Subsequently, the urban population increased. Handicraft has much demand all over the cities. Kharkhanas was the major handicraft center in the cities. The demand for the products increased with the growth of the urban population. The cities had to depend extensively on the products from villages. It empowered the village economy through that villages became the major production centers. Okay students, next let's see medieval Indian society. Here we will discuss about social situation of medieval India. There are three social levels in the medieval Indian society. They are upper class, middle class and the lower class. Upper class consists of Kings and Lords. Middle class consists of Mansabdas, traders and farmers. And lower class consists of 
craftsmen and slaves. Majority of the people were farmers. When landlords lived luxuriously, the common peoples had to struggle with a pathetic life. The common people were burdened by excessive tax. Majority of the farmers could not own land, oxen and plough. Next, peasants. According to the Mughal period, there were two types of peasants, that is Kutkasta and Pahikasta. Kutkasta on farmland, farmed with the help of family members, laborers were engaged if needed. Pahikasta cultivated in the farmlands of others. Next, Semindas. The Semindas were the dominant class in the agricultural sector during the Mughal period. They were the owners of vast agricultural fields. They did not cultivate directly, therefore they used others to cultivate. They enjoyed high position in the society and collected tax from peasants on behalf of the rulers. They maintained their own castles and troops. The Semindas who belonged to high castes were known as Deshmukh, Patil and Naik. Okay students, let's conclude our topic. Today, we discussed about the major trade groups, the cities in medieval India and medieval Indian society. Hope you all understood about today's topic. Thank you.